All right, we are back, back with the quest uh, releases. <laughs> my set, my setup is just that uh, release day, and immediately the video. Um, I don't know, whatever. Uh, anyways, we'll go. We have fisherman tales, tale. For some reason, I the the name is familiar. I'm not sure why because uh, I was uh, really shit at Polish literature or literary literature in general in school uh, isn't a lecture that's called fisherman tale like i don't know if it's a direct translation like there was a man on the sea <laughs> and there was something i did not read it <laughs> even though i passed the exam but whatever it, it's out of the uh importance Anyways, uh, this game seems like a puzzle game, mainly. Adventures also, kinda, in a style of Shadow Point, which I really liked. Uh, Shadow Point is probably one of my most favorite puzzles for Quest, for sure. Uh, simply because of the uh, visual bending mechanics, like uh, mirror effects, like... Uh, um, like kind of uh, playing with dimensions uh, around the player, really cool stuff. So uh, it, it, maybe this game will be pretty similar. At least that's what I heard. I did not hear much about it. That's kind of like how I go. So, but like it's a puzzle adventure game. Nothing. There's nothing. Um, <laughs> it can go wrong, <laughs> kind of for me. <laughs> I hope. Uh, hints, standing, yeah, simplistic setting, so let's just go. Chapters. Ah, so we have prologue. We have six chapters to do, apparently. Ow, my ear. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> knowing me, and knowing that this game is an adventure puzzle game, I would probably do a playthrough on my channel if I will have some spare time for it. Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, uh -huh. carefully made by hand. Puppet. The puppet lived a simple life inside a modern lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, so there's a narrator and I just do things. Well, if you don't think wooden <laughs> teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. <laughs> Next, he put a log inside his little stove to warm things up. Uh. Whoa. Uh, there's no smooth locomotion? Uh, that sucks, but okay. Uh, I don't know. It would get cold in here. The puppet would put a log nice and warm, safe from the storm. Next, he would take get his in. duster <laughs> and carefully dust his lucky seashell over there on the shelf. What? What? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> his routine never changed. Next, he would there. <laughs> The shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. My pants are falling. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. What's happening? <laughs> A quiet sea tonight. Oh. Finally. And most important, Please, no every jump day he would work on his latest model. There, in the center of the room, a perfect model of his own little lighthouse, exact in every detail. Whoa! It was nearly finished, too. Only two pieces needed to be added to the replica. Uh -huh. The little model cabinet and the final section of the wall. Uh, where was the cabinet? <laughs> ah, yeah, here, near the yes. mirror. And what he told? 
The model should be a perfect ah, replica. Here, the window. There was a section of the wall missing and a model cabinet. Good. Now, the final touch. A tiny puppet of himself to put inside. Whoa. <laughs> there. Lucky this model. Tired out from his routine. <laughs> The fisherman will rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair and go to sleep. And dream of models. Safe inside, where the smell of paint and glue was always fresh, where the world was simple and snapped together. Hmm. The puppet would follow his routine, <clears throat> brush his wooden teeth, dust his lucky shell, and work on his model. Hmm. Interesting concept. <laughs> worlds within worlds, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Until one night, something changed. That's me, right? Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. It might be nothing, but better safe than salvage, I always say. Coming up next, another hour of the nautical news after these messages. Huh. Okay. That was the product, so we will go with chapter one. Immediately, kinda. Wow. That was fast. What's the... Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. So we... Whoa. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. <coughs> ah, okay. I get now the general promise. We are trying... The game is all about doing the whole routine. Um, like, because he does that pretty much nearly every day. But with each chapter, some things get blocked and like you uh, need to solve the puzzle. Pretty easy to understand concept, to be honest, you know? What's here? He needed to find something to pry off the boards. But what's inside? I mean, because I can't... Okay, whatever. Something to pry open the door. I mean, this, obviously. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa what used that? to say? <laughs> Use the right tool for the right job. Nearly there. What was this feeling? At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. Wait a minute. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. That's outside me. the room was another room, a replica room. And oh. standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu. If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse? In the model of his own room? That's a little bit trippy. <laughs> it was all there inside the model. Exact in every detail. But the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model. Can I, like, he was see? outside the model. And just, just who was pulling all the strings? Mm. 
I can't see the second small model because his head is blocking. I think that might be intentional. Whoa. The lighthouse. The world might be falling again on itself, but only one thing mattered now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor was at stake. A huge ah. anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out or keep something in. I get now. Wow, okay. Of course. <laughs> As below, so above. When Damn. he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. <laughs> I wonder if I can like... <laughs> yeah, this is very similar to Shadow Point, the play on the other dimensions. Too bad I can't like see my face, but maybe that's now, actually a good idea. <laughs> this little room. Because m maybe it would be really spooky to fucking do that. Zut! The door was locked. He yeah. must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. And where is me now? now when was that? Oh, I got the and chills. Then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey, no. hey, you. Yes, you, the scruffy looking puppet. Yeah, <laughs> you with the strings. Over here, on the shelf. Yeah. Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt, uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him, and very rudely too, so he did not feel so great. You test me every day and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit crab, Sonny, and you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh! And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The, the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddler crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? If you oh, can find my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat <laughs> and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, adjust this once. We will be... brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? This is life preserver, right? I mean, I don't know shit about uh, life-saving support. Wait. <laughs> there. <laughs> now put it around my shell. Oh. I feel the storm coming. <laughs> oh. No. That was a mis uh, like totally like random, but now I I get the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The different dimensions. Okay, but give me that though. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm the girl you. Good. Ah, I feel more buoyant already. Now I just need a hat. <laughs> How else will people know I'm in charge? Hmm? A hat? Oh, okay. Like that? Ah, I thought I could. I could take my own hat. A hat. Whoa. I won't move until I'm less. Scared. Do This scruffy looking puppet wants a solid dead Hmm. That maybe? I don't know. I feel the storm coming. No. 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 Hat, hat, hat. No. 
Oh, maybe like a pen or something? Wait, give me that for example. Have you found anything? Bring it to me when you find something. Like that? God damn it, I lost it in the wall. Annoying. But it then is nothing without his hat. Ah. Maybe that was not that. But I, I can't move it close to... No good. C'est pas ça. C'est pas ça? Fucking I friend. I won't move until I'm less... Uh, scared. This scruffy looking puppet I, wants a solid edge, it seems. I want this one, actually. That doesn't look right. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> What should I should be, have I... moved jail years ago, I know, but uh, I never found the courage to live with this crazy weather outside. Now, here is the biggest storm and you want me to leave? <laughs> this is insane. <sighs> That's annoying bug it, that uh, when you like punch the wall, if something you hold, then it like completely <sighs> disappears. Frustrating. Uh, I, I'm not sure though. Like, I won't move until I'm less, uh, scared. Maybe he, <laughs> he wants like a roof. Wants a solid dead, it seems. No, no, don't think so. Dude, what do you want as a hat? Look, I swear I'll make you my first mate if you find me a captain's hat. Captain's hat? Like, this is. I don't think this ball is the solution. <laughs> I don't think that will help. I feel the storm coming. I mean, I saw it here, but oh. I can't oh. move the. You know. I know, wait. Like, when I look inside, there's nothing. But, like, when I see through the planks. I, it is there an There might indicator? be something in the cabinet, but the handle was missing. Was there another handle somewhere? Oh, okay. A little bit weird that you can open and like uh, you can look that there is something, but like look inside through other. Ah, uh, because there is a shelf, maybe. I mean, like not shelf, but like additional. Have you found anything? Yeah, planks separating. Bring okay. Good, but the hat might be just a teeny tiny bit big for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. Good. Uh. Now put it on me carefully. I am very delicate on the toe. You found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be uh, brave. <laughs> now just let me get out of this damn <laughs> shell. <sighs> wow. <coughs> Phew. Breezy. I feel so much lighter. And the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's oh. do this. I'll help you open the door so you can save your face. I wonder he is tiny here also. As Captain, yeah, but he's not. Yeah, nice. Now let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then. Blast it. I don't remember. Did you had one job? The crab had lived his whole life inside this little shell. No bigger than the fisherman's hand. But he was safe. <laughs> I've lost the key, mon ami. Forget your poor sailor. You'll never be able to save him. So let's see if that works. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. That will do. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Me too, I think. Okay, let's go. Farewell, shipmate. I won't forget what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. 
He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness. And already could hear the storm rising outside. Huh. Chapter 2. Okay, so we'll stop uh, here probably for the first uh, episode. Uh... We're with you through okay. Uh, main menu, like. I mean, let's just uh, exit to the main menu of the quest. Uh, okay. Um, it seems. Okay, so like from the first chapter and prologue I played, it seems easy, uh, but I don't think it will like be uh, easy uh, in the next chapter simply because you progress inside to the um, to the other rooms. But the, I saw just seconds ago that the rooms before are still open and you still need to go there. So I assume uh, like to complete some uh, puzzles you would need to go back to the beginning and like uh, play with dimensions uh, so that's cool about it uh, I felt like it there's a little bit disconnect uh, with the story for some reason it doesn't seem like really immersive you know what I mean like the whole premise seems like it's like you are a fisherman on the sea like in a storm and just like handling that but maybe like I'm wrong and I just didn't pay attention so but but you know I'm kind of like comparing to the other games puzzle games like uh, shadow point like uh, yeah I don't remember like currently I don't really remember any puzzle games aside from shadow point simply because the story was so immersive that I clearly remember everything that I played uh, I'll definitely play it more because uh, it's still the type of the game that I enjoy playing um, so in my free time. Uh, so we'll probably be doing that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll do Asgard Wrath uh, playthrough, obviously. You know, currently it's kind of like I have options, so I have so many things to do. And I have options, so when I was doing strictly quest the content um, it's kind of like I was limited by the things I had in the store because I pretty much like completed ha almost like over half of the store library for sure if we're going about my channel uh, so you know the there's no smooth locomotion which is you know this times and this i think this is actually a port it's not like a new game it's actually a port from a rift game i think i'm not really sure i would need to check that but there's no smooth locomotion which is you know nowadays it's kind of like a standard um for the games especially that goes uh to on the quest store but it's not breaking the immersion enough uh, to be a problem but it's just like a slight disconnect because you need to teleport uh, around the room it's sort of similar uh, to time stall i don't yeah but but you could i think uh, move around in time stall right i i don't really remember i think uh, you could uh, to turn some modification but like you have to teleport uh, movement uh, combined with room scale which makes sense why it's only teleport but you can do it in smooth uh, locomotion but whatever that's just a small detail i guess uh the first moments of the game it's kind of it's kind of like the first uh, few minutes of the game it's not uh, like immediately uh, throwing you into the story 
you need to probably develop some bond with the game and like really sink into it uh, which I'll probably do for sure uh, other than that it seems it seems fine I don't there's nothing groundbreaking because we already saw many mechanics that are in this uh, game present already on the sh in shadow point I keep referring that but it's like it was a release title alongside with the quest uh, official release of the headset and it was the, pretty much one of the first games that uh, released then and it still to this day stayed a pretty solid puzzle game so I'm referring to that because like it's a standard that sets uh, for the future games you know uh, sort of similar different story similar mechanics I think it's a bit simplified but maybe in the later levels it's gonna get harder other than that seems solid I mean aside from this bug that uh, uh, when you punch the wall with something holding you immediately disappear maybe it's not a bug maybe it's just like a feature or whatever uh, but it seems all right all right seems all right and that's pretty much uh, it uh, so we'll probably do the other um, chapters with that we'll be doing ads graphs other than that till next time I guess <laughs>